afternoon, everyone, and greetings from Seattle, Washington. First time I've ever been in the Pacific Northwest, and something I love to do when I go to a new city is go to their zoo. And here in Seattle, that's the Woodland Park Zoo. In this video here, we're going to show you all around the zoo, all the animals, all the exhibits. Let's go check things out. This seems like a good place to start the tour here at the African Savanna. And the African Savanna is exactly what you'd think it would be, a big multi-animal enclosure. Starting over there at the far side, you can see some zebras. And you do have some giraffes, as well as some gazelle in between. Uh, there are some smaller birds in here, as well as some ostriches, but I can't seem to spot them at the moment. The African Savannah area is home to a small aviary as well, for a couple different species of smaller African birds. Still in the Savannah area. You can see the big hippopotamus there getting out of the water. Oh man, I love seeing the hippos out of the water. It's kind of cool because it's an optical illusion where you think like, okay, the hippo can get to where the giraffes are, but they cannot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that. Is so cool. Pretty close to the hippos as it dives underneath the water there. You can see his buddy floating on over on the other side. Another exhibit on the edge of the savannah with some cool sight lines. Here's for the potus monkeys. So you can see the monkey there. Pan up. You can see the giraffe over there in the distance. There he is. Take full advantage of the super zoom there to get a better view of the patus monkey. So it took me a while to find them because this enclosure is very large. But at the well at the edge of the side, you can see a beautiful lioness. Look at lioness! But we're like 100 yards away. Here you can see two beautiful warthogs. Looks like they're enjoying a, a meal of some hay. That's a good look. I really like the warthogs. There's uh, three of them. They put the food underneath these trees. I'm guessing so then the warthogs could use their tusks to move the, the tree branches out of the way. Just like that. This next section of the zoo is the Assam Rhino Reserve. Right. Right. Up close to the edge of the enclosure there, making noises, it's a Visayan warty pig which is a critically endangered animal. It kind of looks like a, a mix between like a pig and a coat of mundi. Cool that they're so up close to the, uh, the guest area. Having a nap in the sun is the rhinoceros. And not having a nap in the sun, this other rhinoceros. You can see him trying to get some hay there. Pretty interesting, looks like for $10 a person. Uh, they do a rhino encounter. That would be pretty cool. Farther away from us, you can see some cranes. And closer, taking a nap, is an Asian brown tortoise. This is really neat. So they have a bunch of Malayan tapers and they're so close. Guessing it must be feeding time. You do get a, a good view of that one over there. They're so cool. I love their noses. And now it gets to be so close to this one. Obviously the lighting's not great over here, but uh, really cool to be this close to a taper. You can see this guy over here. Seems to be just finishing his lunch. And it's underneath this heat lamp. That makes sense why they would be so close to the front of the enclosure. Even though the day I'm here, it's probably like 60 degrees. But you know, I'm not sure what Malayan tapers are used to as far as climate goes. Not too many of them in here, but this is home to Francois Langers, a species of monkey. Oh, they got a really nice enclosure. Big. You can see the other guy all the way at the top. So there's lots of stuff for them to climb on and play and that kind of stuff. And the scratch your face. We're now by the orangutans. This one's new to the enclosure. Looks like he's going to begin some enrichment on the other side. Oh, there's two of them. And this little guy is a red rumped agouti. Just sitting there and posing for us. A couple of things that are supposed to be in here meerkats, bats, and Komodo dragons, but it looks like they are doing some modifications, which is good because it definitely feels like one of the older buildings in the zoo. 
The next section of the zoo is the Living Northwest Trail, which is a section I'm really excited for because, you know, I'm never in this part of the country. So now I get to see what their wildlife is like. Well, it would appear they have lots of room. Look at a gray wolf right there. Always fascinating how, how similar they behave to dogs. You got some very cool enclosures here. That one's home to a gray owl. This one's a bummer because they do have a North American porcupine, but I can't seem to find it. I looked up in the tree too. Normally these guys like to hide up in trees. But I can see the snowy owl who's right up near the edge of the enclosure. Must have heard a fun noise. They're, they're really neat. Update, I found the porcupine. A little tough to see through the fence there, but uh, they're such cool animals. Look at them. Big old quills. They're cute little, I almost thought their faces kind of look like rabbits. Well, we made it to the animal that I would most associate with the Pacific Northwest. We could sort of see him sleeping way down there. He's big and fluffy, but very, very sleek. There you can see the North American River Otter as he goes away. Uh, nice exhibit here. Lots of underwater viewing. And, oh, he's so close to us. I love watching these guys swim around. Unfortunately, when you come to the zoo, you tend to not be able to see all the animals. This enclosure here is for those uh, puffy white mountain goats, but don't see any of them out today. Beautiful, gigantic bird. That is a stellar sea eagle looking right at us. Oh, very big. It's the, uh, the biggest species of eagle. One of the larger enclosures I've seen in the zoo so far is for the elk. Now they're all sitting down, relaxing over here. Try to zoom in off in the distance, you can see the males. Giant, giant antlers. So the grizzly bear is now awake. And posing like he's in a movie. Like when I was this close, whether or not my natural instinct to like run away from me kick in, and it definitely has. Making lots of noise is uh, my personal favorite animal, the penguin. Now these are going to be warm weather Humboldt penguins, native to South America, swimming by over there, making noise. Now penguins like this, see those little holes in the rocks? Those are the kind of things that they uh, they kind of live in, it's where they would sleep. And uh, it looks like they have quite the enclosure here for them, so let's go see a little bit more. But man, penguins are the best. Yeah. No, this zoo gets a big thumbs up from me. They have so many penguins. Oh, those guys, huh? Let them be over there. But man, oh, the penguins. And lots of room for their penguins. This next section of the zoo is Australasia, which is Australia, New Guinea, and the nearby islands. First enclosure we get to is home to some wallabies, which are just an adorable little species of marsupial. They're like a smaller version of a kangaroo. Also sneaking up on me over here, oh sorry for the quick cut, is an emu. There's also an indoor area, so if the wallabies want to come inside, they could do so. Also, this is a guy here, that is a common wallaroo. I'm not really familiar with that one. There's also a wonderful bird enclosure here, home to the famous laughing kookaburra. It seems to be having a meal of some grubs. Um, you've also got over here the mast lapwing. Those are really, really cool birds as well. Well, we went through the Australia section of the exhibit, and now that means that we're in the Asian area, as this is home to the zoo's snow leopards. They do have four of them, but this is the only one I'm seeing at the moment. Off in the distance there, you can see the Malayan tiger. A beautiful, beautiful animal. This next section of the zoo is the Banyan Wilds. Oh, that adorable guy there, that is a sloth bear. They have uh, two yeah. pretty good sized sloth bear enclosures here. It's a weird time. Yeah. Such a neat animal. Uh, Here's a much better view of the sloth bear who's uh, right up close. I actually was standing here for like a minute. Didn't even notice that it was right there because I was busy looking at the one hanging out over there. 
and it's crawling away anyway. This section of the zoo is the wildlife survival zone. I'm not going to get a great view, but this is one of my favorite zoo animals. Way up in the top of the tree is a red panda. Up, oh, you can see his little face. Mom, it's so cute. Crawling on down. I believe the red panda crawled down. It's now enjoying that mister with a big old smile on its face. They're so cute. We call this one a very peaceful enclosure here for the hooded crane. A really pretty, rather large bird. Having himself a little nap, an animal that looks... Oh, I woke him up. I'm sorry. That's the man wolf. Maybe it was the birds that woke him up. We've got more cranes. Uh, this time it's the white naked crane. We were distracted by a crow. Ah, that's cool. In this section of the park, you do have a marshland, wetland aviary. That is really pretty. Home to all sorts of ducks. Some bigger ones. That's a little guy. That's a really little duck. This is this is very very well done, um, especially for like a wetlands aviary. This is one of the the larger ones I've seen. You can see like the different types of animals I like to hang out in different types of areas. Oop, and my camera wants to focus. Ah, there we go. That's the guy I was trying to show you. This aviary here is known as the conservation aviary. So we've got birds that could free fly over here. Like that very colorful one. Look at him. And then if you pan over to the left, you've got birds that are going to be behind a fence. Like this red-legged ceremia. This big animal here is a blue-billed curassow. Look at those feet. And the bluebill's really cool too. This animal, when I first looked at it, I thought like, oh, it's a peacock. It is not. This is a Malayan Great Argus. That was a new one for me. I don't think I've seen that in a zoo before. That is a speckled owl. The next section of the zoo is the tropical rainforest. Beautiful enclosure here for the jaguar, but can't seem to find it. We have a big old lemur island here for some red rough lemurs. They're so cool. You see a bunch of them swinging around, playing. And it would make sense that next to the red rough lemurs, they're relative to the ringtail lemur. Whoa! He's going high. Hanging out on top of the world over there is a black and white colobus monkey. Can't quite see any of them out on the exhibit, but right now I am at the gorilla enclosure in the rainforest area. Feels like I'm back home at uh, Bush Gardens or SeaWorld that they have lots and lots of Chilean flamingos. A whole bunch. There is a farmyard section here, and right now we're going to get a miniature Jersey steer who's right up at the edge of the enclosure by the people. And right by the cow is a miniature donkey. Eating peacefully over here out of his, uh, his paper bag is a domesticated rabbit, and right next to him, the giant Flemish rabbit. Oh, giant Flemish rabbits are so cool. They're all in the barn. You can see some goats, including a little guy. <laughs> and a much quieter animal to finish out the children's area. These are some lambs. 
the zoo is home to a theater where they have Zoo Venture, a hero's tale. And I love that they, just like if you were to go to like a Broadway play, they have the cast. Skyanna, the North American porcupine. Annabelle, the Vietnamese pot pig. Blossom, the possum. Uh, that, would, that would probably be a pretty good show. The zoo does have a beautiful old-timey carousel that you could ride for a couple of bucks. And uh, interesting, a lot of zoos have like newer, more modern carousels with a lot of different animals on them. This is very much a very traditional, very old-timey and very, very pretty carousel. I did it. Well, looks like it's about beer 30 for me. Drinking a Fremont Lush IPA. Uh, $9 for the beer, but I'm always likely to spend more when I go to a zoo or aquarium because that money just normally goes back to helping the animals. And i uh, always open to trying a new beer. And that'll do it for my time here at the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle. And I had a really fun time. I had a blast. I thought it was really fun. I was here about two hours or so. Uh, it only costs about $25 to get into, so I think you definitely get your value worth. Also, you can tell they put a lot of money back into the zoo, as none of the, not really any of the exhibits really felt like old and beat up. A lot of new stuff, everything's in really good condition. Uh, as far as my highlights, I love seeing the tapers up so close. That was really cool. I also really, really like the Pacific Northwest animals. Like, getting to see the grizzly bears posing like that. And that sea eagle, like, that was really cool and I, I, I love the red pandas and that home all penguin exhibit that was really cool too if you have any questions about the woodland park zoo let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching